Okay, so boys, we're going to continue with some examples now. So in this first one, we're just going to name the shape, say whether it's regular or irregular, and say whether it's convex or non-convex. So looking at this first one, we've got to count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. A six-sided shape is called a hexagon. Now, is it regular or irregular? Well, if it's regular, all the sides have to be equal. They don't look equal and they're not marked with the equal margins. So we're going to say it's irregular. Then the next part, is it convex or non-convex? So can you see any of these angles inside the shape being reflex angles? I can't, so I'm going to say it's convex. Okay, the next one. So looking at this shape, count the sides. There's five sides. If it's got five sides, it's a pentagon. Now, is it regular or irregular? Are all those sides equal? No, they're not. So it's irregular. And is it convex or non-convex? When you look inside the shape, can you see a reflex angle? I can see one here. So we're going to say it's non-convex. In the next one, you've got an equilateral triangle. We know what that shape is, but we've got to say what it is. So the name of the shape is a triangle. If you want, you can say equilateral triangle. Then is it regular or irregular? This one is regular because all those sides are equal. We can tell they're equal because they've been marked with equal markings. And the other one is, is it convex or non-convex? When you look inside the shape, can you see any reflex angles? I can't, so I'm going to say it's convex. Okay, the next question is where we're looking at the sum of the angles in the shape. The word interior just means the angles inside the shape, which is what you would assume anyway. So we're doing an angle sum. Now, I learned this word on a um, millionaire hot seat the other night. They had this question on Peter Decagon. What is it? It's a shape of 15 sides. Penta, 5, Deca, 10, put them together, 15 sides. So we're going to take our angle sum formula and do this one because I don't want to draw a diagram of 15 sides. It's going to take me ages to do that. So I'm going to use the second method and write the formula down for doing the angle sum. Then I'm just going to put the 15 sides in for N. Now 15 minus 2 is 13. And then we're going to multiply those on our calculator. So the angle sum of a pentadecagon is 2,340 degrees. So the next question is a heptagon. That's seven sides. So method one I'm going to do for this one because I could draw a seven-sided shape fairly easily. So I'm going to show you how method one works. We start at any vertex, do it with your red pen, and join from that to every other vertex, like this. That's one, joining to the second one, to the third, to the fourth, to the fifth, and to the sixth. Now you can see the triangles forming. I'm going to number them. We have five triangles. So we can use method one where we do 180 degrees times by the number of triangles, which is five. And if I do that and multiply it on my calculator, I'm going to get 900 degrees. If you wanted to, you could do this question with method two. Just use your formula. You need place of the N, put the seven. Now you can put that straight on your calculator, just like that if you want. And it'll give you the same answer of 900 degrees. Now you might go, well, why don't we just do that? Can't be bothered drawing those, those triangles. Well, that's okay, but what happens if you get in the exam and you can't remember the formula? So it's really good to have this as a backup at least to go, oh, well, I can't remember the formula, but I know how to do this and I can work this out anyway. All right, so over here we're finding the value of each pronumeral or letter. So the first thing you need to do is we need to have. 
have the angle sum of this shape to be able to find this value for a. So we're going to do method one. So up with your red pen, we're going to draw in our lines like we just did over here. So I'm going to start over here because you can start anywhere you like. And I'm going to join it to every other corner. Okay, now if you count the triangles inside there, there are four triangles. So it's 180 degrees for each triangle, and we have four of them. If you multiply those on your calculator, you get 720 degrees. So to find A, we know that all these angles are going to add up to 720. So we're going to start with 720 and take off all these angles I've already given you. So 160, 120, 140, 130, and 110. And now I'm going to get my calculator and work out what that is. And it's 60 degrees. I know it doesn't look like it on my diagram, but it is 60 degrees. Okay, now you could do it using the second method. The second method, remember, is using the formula 180 by n minus 2. The number of sides on this shape, if we count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we put the 6 in that spot there for the number of sides. And then we put that into our calculator, just like that. And it will give you 720 degrees. Same as we got up there. Then to find A, you do exactly the same working as we did up here, to finish it off. Okay, the next question over here. So we're going to do the same thing. I'll do both methods. So I'm going to start at any corner and join to every other corner. And you can see I've got six triangles there. So my angle sum is going to be 180 degrees times 6 with 6 triangles. And I'll just work out what that is. We end up with 335 degrees. Now, to get x on this question, because there's two x's up there, and we've got 335 degrees left, so we're going to get the 335 degrees and divide by 2 for the two x's. And then we're going to work that out. So just do 335, split it between the two equal angles that are marked as x, and we end up with this. It's not often you get a decimal with angles, but you can have them. So x equals 167.5 degrees. Right, so if we do method 2 for this, you use your formula angle sum equals 180 by n minus 2. You put the number of sides in the shape up there, so let's count them. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 sides. Put that in there. 
and you will get the same angle sum as we got up there, 1080 degrees. The rest of the working will be exactly the same as we have up there, so you just repeat it. So for x, we're going to split our 335 degrees between the two equal angles up there. And you'll end up with 167.5 degrees. So we're going to come back just with a few more examples because there is a harder question that we can get on these. So I'll do that in the next video.